What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. Vlog. So that I in it, I was going to be doing a chest, back, and arms. Getting in that stretch as I watch the beautiful, the beautiful sunrise on this ungrateful earth. Grateful earth. Body feels stiff from yesterday's deadlifts. So today I'll be doing partial deadlifts. Uh, not so much of a challenge. Lightweight and then partial deadlifts. Just to remove that bit of soreness. It usually works. Like if you did, uh, let's say, deadlifts and you didn't get injured. Let's say it's muscle spraining. Uh, you can redo what you did, but in a lighter version. You don't have to be like completing a light, a whole workout. I don't know if it works for some of you, but it does work for me. Like let's say we did legs, and then the muscles are sore. You can do like a free squats or walk on the treadmill or a stair master or anything like that can at least get those muscles moving and it feels better all right just a few minutes of stretching and then we dive in one two three four Warm ups again for warm ups, they're not supposed to be uh, too intense. Like, let's say you do uh, 200 push ups, would be ridiculous on a chest day. Uh, maybe if you're going to do push ups alone, but 50 is in a good range. Uh, maybe an empty bar, like 50 reps, not at once, 10, 10. And then you go for your working sets. That's also in a good range. But 200, and then you have to get on the bar and do, that's how many, 100 kgs, if that's what you start with. Uh, this is 100, but we normally don't count the bar. Here we go. I'm going to be supersetting the bench press with dumbbell rows uh i'm going to do four sets with four sets of dumbbell rows then we go for the incline dumbbell press with a lat pull down that's how we're going to move and then after those that's when we'll do arms but for the warm-up uh push-ups we did uh 50 that's good enough for warm-up and then these things are important as well. They're not just for show. It helps tighten your core, but for the most part, protect your back. All right. Let's go set one. This is a 80. Plus the bar maybe, but normally don't count the bar. All right. Let's see what I can do. One. Three. Okay. A six. I wanted to do like uh, two more, but since I have, I don't have a spotter. I don't want to risk it. Ah, uh, so we'll keep in the range of six, six times four, and then rows ten, ten. Uh, 
normally when I get down to do the rows with the belt on, it's like I'm being suffocated. Happens with the deadlift sometimes. I don't know if I need to change the belt, buy something more expensive. <laughs> All right, let's go. One. Uh, my belly is still intact. Alright, let's go. Sweet side. Alright. Alright. Have three sets on the rows. And then three sets on the bench to go rest. I don't know how long you rest between sets, but recommended, I mean by me, should be around one to two minutes. At most should be three. And then you go in for another set. And then you need to rest, not as much, but uh, at least good enough rest time if you don't have a spot. <sighs> okay. Solo workout. Someone was comment commenting, is it commenting that it takes discipline to do a solo workout? <laughs> Should I brag about that? But no. It's pretty normal if you've been working out for a while. You just come crush it, come crush it, come crush it. Let's go set two. All right. One, two, three. Oh. One. Two. That's one. All right. Normally, you don't need free straps for pulling workouts. All right, last recording set. I'll record you in the next workout. That's a dumbbell press and that pull down. Dumbbells, dumbbell presses. I'll be supersetting them with a with the lat pull down. Failure. That is going to be four sets, four sets on the bench, 
forceps on the pull down. The plan was to start with a close grip, but I'm working in with someone. Four sets, I'll be going up on weight for each set, four working sets here and there, and we're out for arms, man's trying to work his hamstrings, we start with chicken legs, we've added up weight, two, one, one, three, five LBs. I don't get the point of people who love to pull down behind the neck. I mean, it sometimes feels unnatural. So unless I go somewhere and I'm forced to do it by someone, but I never do it myself. <clears throat> but you can force me to do calves any time of the day. That's recording set. Next set, work out your seeds when going for arms. You just have to make sure that you do all the rest. This is the last part of the workout. Arms. I'll be supersetting them with uh, triceps. When I say arms, it's all the way. All right, cable cars in it. <laughs> All right, first set is 15, but as we go down on blocks, reps will be going down by one or two. All right, for the overheads, we're going to start with uh, eight blocks. I'm going to just record one set, but we're doing five sets, and then finish up with hammer curls and single arm push downs with a single arm cable. 
I think I'll record you one set of that part, five sets. Uh, at least a drop of one rep each time you go up on a block. Last part of the session, we're going to be doing uh, hammer curls. Uh, super setting them with uh, single arm push downs for four to five, depending on how four feels. That's the goal. Let's go. One, two, three. Then let's go for ten on either side. Switch up. One. Two. For uh, all the triceps workouts I know, uh, I feel like the push down, the single arm push downs, uh, activates or stimulates the my triceps more. I don't know for you, but it works for me best. Right, just saying. Uh, but I mean, if it doesn't work for you, when you try it out, you can just come back and comment. But it does. Uh, I'm just going to record just one set. But we have four, four or five left. And then we are out for today. Uh, that has been it for the push pull. And then those arms. Tomorrow is a rest day. I will pre record a video to be posted tomorrow. Uh, you'll see it. All right, guys. Peace out. Love you all.